Nokia Lumia might officially be back through this new device that has just been introduced, named HMD Skyline. If you are familiar with cars, you might not like that they chose this name. The Nokia Lumia series phones had a very distinct identity due to their design line, which featured a very rectangular shape, although at the same time, it had rounded corners on the inner contour. So, this design is very distinctive and now seems to be making a comeback through HMD with this new HMD Skyline model. Remember that HMD owns the Nokia brand, although lately it has been focusing on releasing devices under its own HMD brand and reducing the number of devices released under the Nokia brand. However, it seems they are still heavily inspired by several of Nokia's past releases. However, even though it may seem like a more attractive device in terms of specifications, the reality is that it is a mid-range device. It has a 6.5-inch screen with OLED technology and full HD resolution with a 144 Hz refresh rate, which I think is not disappointing at all. It also has a 50-megapixel front camera processor, is Snapdragon 7's Gen 2, and it comes with either 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM and 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. However, you can also add a micro SD of up to 512 gigabytes. On the back, it integrates three cameras, and surprisingly, we find a configuration that is not so common in the mid-range. We are talking about a 108 megapixel sensor for the main camera, then 13 megapixels for the ultra-wide camera, and 50 megapixels for a telephoto camera. And it's curious because the camera module doesn't clearly stand out as having three cameras, which is very interesting because on one hand, we see manufacturers trying to deceive you into thinking the device has three cameras when it actually has one. And in this case, the device seems to have only two because they are outlined with a specific color, but in reality, it has three and this camera is somewhat hidden. It seems that this telephoto camera has a 4x optical zoom, although this is a bit unclear because they haven't detailed it very clearly. It says it has up to 4x zoom, where I'm not sure if it's an optical zoom or a zoom that maintains optical quality. It would need to be tested in more detail. But it's interesting that it has a telephoto camera. In fact, it supports 50mm portraits, which would be 2x zoom, so it could be that the telephoto camera is 2x optical zoom and with a crop on the high resolution sensor. It allows up to 4x while maintaining optical quality. The battery is 4600mAh, so in this case, it does fall a bit short. It supports 33 watt charging and also supports 15 watt wireless charging with the Qi standard. This is a standard that is not widely used in the Android world, which is why its inclusion stands out. It comes with Android 14 and promises two years of software updates, three years of security patches through software, and includes a detox mode, so you can limit your connectivity and notifications to be a bit more relaxed in your life. Interestingly, it has a very good level of repairability, so it is said that you could repair it yourself at home if any part happens to fail. This device has a globally announced price of $499, although remember that prices here are not the same as those over there. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to get this device for a more detailed review, because it looks interesting.